Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are actually covering some news in a slightly different format. I've decided to put myself into my videos now because I'm a narcissist. So, um, yes, Total War Saga, Troy. So uh, we got we got an announced trailer uh, a good few months ago now, and uh, so that was fun. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, because Throne to Britannia was, I don't know, I actually I actually skipped it, and obviously I'm a big fan of Total War games. Um, but yeah, it, it didn't have the big scope that people were expecting. People thought that it was a mainstay. Uh, title. It wasn't. It was a saga, which is obviously a spin-off, right? So smaller scope. So um, hopefully now people have changed their um, sort of expectations on it and won't be disappointed. But there's a whole new disappointment for a lot of people because this one is going to be on the Epic Games Store. I know that's going to annoy a lot of people. So um, Total War Saga, Troy on Epic Games Store. So uh, there is a trailer, by the way, for the game. It's in the description if I remembered. Otherwise, it's not. In which case, shout at me. Thanks. Um, so, yes, uh, here it is, a Total War Saga. Troy is an Epic Game Store exclusive for 12 months. That is obviously tragic, tragic news for a lot of people who want to make sure all their Total War games are in the same place. So, I get that, okay? That is a pain. Uh, and it will be available for free if you claim it the first 24 hours. I'm happy to... I'm kind of happy to be, you know, a little disappointed if it means free stuff. You know? So that immediately makes me feel better about it. Um, hardcore fans of the franchise that are there on day one will just get it for free. So yes, it's not in the place they want it, but it's free. I mean, you can't really ask for more than that. So uh, that's right, we're giving away Troy for free to keep as long as you claim it the first 24 hour window. Um, I'm sure there'll be some DLC, but actually, did Throne to Britannia get any DLC? I don't even know. I, that's how little I paid attention to Throne to Britannia, but oh well. Uh, so, we're really excited about Troy, and we're even more excited that this will give more of you the chance to play and enjoy it than might have had otherwise. Uh, while we know that some of you won't like the Epic Games Store, uh, store exclusivity, uh, I'm mixed on it, actually. I'm glad Steam has a competitor, but I find the exclusivity part of it a bit annoying. But I understand that's the only way for them to get into the market in the first place. Because Steam has Monopoly, which is why I kind of like the competition, because... Steam needs improving in a billion ways, and it's never going to bother unless it has competition. But it's not exactly great for the consumer in the build-up to, you know, competition being formed. So that's annoying. That's my point of contention. I'm sure there's plenty of um, plenty of issues you guys have. I'd rather not, you know, this turn into just a discussion on that, but rather some excitement about Troy, because, uh, yeah, new Total War. So, uh, la 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 la, it feels a great opportunity for us in a lot of ways, and we're hoping that you'll take some time to hear us out, and for us to answer what uh, some of the questions we think you might have. So, first of all, this is an opportunity for Troy specifically. We have no plans for future games to be epic exclusives. Now that I'm very happy about, um, I really want my like mainstay Total War games to be in the same place, you know? And uh, having to wait a year to then buy it on a different planet. Eh, yeah, I don't want that. Now, want them to all be together, so be like, ooh, aren't they shiny? Um, so, you know, there is that. As developers, we truly value our existing fans, but at the same time, we want to reach new audiences and have as many people as possible experiencing the thrill of Total War for themselves. So this makes perfect sense in my mind, because uh, this is a spin-off, right? It's a smaller scale thing, just to be like, okay, here's something for free, everyone who's over on Epic, uh, you know, all you kids playing Fortnite, how about you give this a go? By the way, we've got plenty more of it, um, you know, if you're, if you're looking for more. I think that's clever, right? I think that makes sense. It gets more people in the community, and I like that. Um, especially because, you know, I, I cut my teeth at multiplayer with Warhammer, and then I kind of got a bit bored of it, you know? It was the same old nonsense. Um, getting a bunch of new blood in would be great, um, however that happens. And it's just the same with any, any Total War thing. Just more people being into Total War is a good thing for anyone who's into Total War. You know, more stuff gets sold. You know, more copies are sold of other Total War games, the more money is going to go into developing them and polishing them and making them as good as possible and, you know, whatever. Um, so it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You know, we want we want there to be more fans. So that, I think, makes a lot of sense. And to do that with a spin-off rather than Warhammer 3 or something, then, yeah, great. Happy for them to do it with that. Um, you know, if they're going to experiment, let it be with a spin-off. So, as a business that means putting uh, Total War onto new platforms so that it can reach more players. Yeah, see? Um, this is part of that, and in principle, we'd like future Total War titles to be simultaneously available from launch day on as many storefronts as possible. Right now, this is a one-time, one-year exclusive deal for Troy. 
We've always said that Saga titles allow us to experiment, yeah, and this is an experiment on a grand scale, uh, which is amusing because the campaign isn't a grand campaign because it's a smaller scope to the other games. So it's a fun one. They made it grand, but in a in a business way. Is that exciting for us? I don't know. Anyway, Troy seemed like a good game to try this out with, especially as pre-orders aren't live on Steam yet. So that is great, actually. Frankly, that is superb um, that they've done that because so many games have just suddenly been like, oh, we're Epic exclusives now, when people have already pre-ordered or kickstarted it or whatever. So this is good. You know, it's good they haven't um, uh, just decided last minute to screw everyone who pre-ordered. So I like that. I like that. Uh, so no one's already put money into the store. Uh, they'll have to wait 12 extra months for it to appear on, which is, yeah, fantastic. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So now that's out the way, here's a little backstory. Epic approached us and asked if Troy could be an Epic exclusive as part of a commercial deal. That's not to say we immediately signed on the dotted line or that money was the only reason we did this. It's not. Um, it was a difficult decision. And you can be assured that there are a lot of differing opinions in the studio and a lot of discussions about it, which largely focus on what it would mean for you, the players. However, ultimately we considered two things. Two things. First, uh, we're at a time where we're looking to invest more into the ongoing development of Total War. This felt like an opportunity to really move the franchise forward by getting it in front of more people. That's important. Secondly, Epic were paying for our players to have our latest release free on day one. So that is a very big deal. Um, the fact that Epic are happy to shower people with money uh, right now in order to, you know, get that market share, right? Um, that's kind of great because that means that, you know, what I said earlier, like the more people are playing it, the more money goes into development of Total War games, right? Well, anyone who's getting that release on day one, you're helping fund other Total War games and you're getting it for free because Epic's footing the bill. So that's brilliant right so be sure to download it even if you hate in fact if you hate epic download it it's in your best interest to download it because it means epic will then give money at your uh, i mean hopefully still one of your favorite games developers Ten, you know it depends how much you hate this news so you know but anyway um so yeah that's that's great so it means there's more money being invested in total war and uh, we're getting a free game so you know cool silver lining for sure uh for total war's 20th birthday that felt like an opportunity too good to pass up <laughs> that's nice uh as mentioned uh and like others in the industry a key reason for exploring other digital stores is that we don't want to be limited to just steam we also want to diversify our business in fact we want to get our games onto as many stores as possible i mean that is important especially nowadays you know like things like gog galaxy and like all sorts of things are sort of cropping up that are some people prefer some people just don't like steam and i get it steam is very irritating um it's it's not it's not this wonderful thing i know that all of your library is in one place and that's wonderful um you know that's my main reason for staying there is not to do with loyalty i find steam is a nightmare a lot of the time um they never manage to recommend games that i like um they've actually i've the amount of times i've seen games recommended that i have refunded before because they sucked and Steam's like, how about this? It's like, no, I, I've already refunded that because I hated it. You know, it's really dumb. So, um, you know, stuff like that. Just, ugh, nah, Steam's, Steam needs some work. And don't get me started on the asset flips. Really don't. Ugh. Uh, and it's terrible for indie devs nowadays because the saturation's too high. So really hardworking devs don't get, you know, even a glance at their games because it's buried under cheap crap. Um, you know, tutorials on how to make a game that have been published like it's actually a game and Steam allows it. Nah, okay. So, I, I like the competition, I'm glad there is, but of course that means that in order to be pro-consumer, Total War games have to be everywhere, right? So, I like that they're doing this, because to be truly consumer-friendly, it's got to be everywhere. And if that means, you know, being exclusive on one of the platforms for a year for a spin-off, yeah, I'm thinking this is okay personally. Um, I know it's still a bit bit of a sour taste, but generally, um, I'm, I'm happy with that. So, as mentioned, and like others in the industry, a key reason for exploring other digital stores is we don't be limited to just Steam. We also want to diversify our business. In fact, we want to let our games onto as many stores as possible. Long term, we want to expand where players find Total War. 
this g deal gives us a great way to try out other platforms, such as Epic, to see what works for us and what doesn't. It allows us to get a feel for the development required to expand to other platforms, and it's relatively risk-free for you too, as the game's available for free when claimed in the first 24 hours. So, this opportunity allows expansive back-end infrastructure development that will allow us to expand into multiple stores. That means we can have more resources, push ourselves further, be more creative, make more Total War. Brilliant. We're always looking to evolve and improve on our games, and this deal gives us a lot of ways to do that. As we said, fresh perspectives, money that we'll be putting back into the studio, new ways to expand. So, it all sounds pretty promising, um, even if it's a little annoying. Uh, you might not immediately see a big change, but we're confident you will over time, and we guarantee there are a lot of things behind the scenes being made possible due to this, which we wouldn't otherwise have the chance to do. Some of this is long-term, but there are short-term benefits too, as well as, uh, sorry, benefits to you as well as to us. Making it available for free for everyone to keep during the first 24 hours wouldn't have been possible without this deal, which makes sense. They can't just... If they put it on Steam, that's where all the fans already are, and everyone would download it for free on day one, and... That would be like, you know, 90% of the money that they would normally make from the game in the bin. You know, because they'd have to accept the loss of income from that. So, you know, so that's pretty great. That's pretty great. Um, that's pretty wonderful, actually. That there's that sort of loophole. And it also means more people can try out sort of saga games when I think there's still a fear that because Thrones Britannia was... I think it's safe to say it was a flop. I, I don't know anyone who's mentioned it in forever... Um, you know, it was, it was a very niche title. I think that put a lot of people off, especially because it was using the Attila engine, which uh, doesn't run particularly well. Uh, whereas Troy is on the Warhammer engine, which is smooth as butter. So, you know, I keep right-clicking by accident. Um, so, yeah, I, I, uh, I, yeah, I think this is a good thing, generally. Um, even if it's annoying that they won't all be, you know, all my Total Wars won't be in the same place, but... I, I think it's worth it. I think uh, they seem to have they seem to have done the maths here, and I happen to agree with it. But I like the competition for Steam. I know a lot of people just don't. A lot of people are weirdly loyal to Steam. So, I mean, I get it. All your stuff is there. Um, you know, why why have it so you have to play a, a game in a different house? You know, I want to play it at my house. Anyway, uh, finally, we've got one favour to ask. However you feel about this, please keep any criticism for the studio as a whole and don't take it out on individual employees that you might find on various social media platforms. Yeah, guys, this is actually super important. Don't don't be a dick. Just that simple, okay? This is not... There's no one person making this decision. So don't be a jerk. Seriously. Okay, these are people. And given the times we're currently in, no one deserves that hassle. So don't be a jerk, all right? Just shout the studio, you know, or just vent in my comment section, frankly. But come on. Because, um, I know, my community is pretty good, but there's always going to be some people out there that are dickheads. So, uh, we get it, it's unexpected, but they're not going to be able to change anything, and probably weren't the ones who made the decision regardless. Because, yeah, the people you're going to see the most of are, like, the community managers, right? If you think the community managers have anything to do with business decisions, you're insane, so leave them alone. Uh, please, you know, they're... If you engage them in, like, a, a, an actual discussion about it, they can talk to you about it, but if you accuse them of anything, like, they didn't do anything. Like, you're not helping anybody, you're just ruining someone's day, so don't do that. Uh, we really think you'll love Troy. And hey, it's free, so definitely give it a shot. Redeem your 24-hour freebie and enjoy the game. If not, it'll just be a year until it's available on Steam. Ultimately, we think this is good for our players, good for Creative Assembly, and therefore good for Total War. Thank you for reading. So, you know, that's a, yeah, yeah, a bit of a curveball, a uh, bit of a curveball. So, um, because, you know, I'm, I'm part of the partner program uh, with Total War, and they didn't even tell any of the partners. Uh, they didn't give us a heads up about it. This is how much of a curveball this is. So, uh, pretty surprising. It's pretty surprising. Um, yeah, absolutely bizarre. But, uh, hey, new new Total War game. So, and Troy, and the trailer looks cool. I recommend you watch it, if you haven't already. If it's in the description, which it hopefully is. Unless I didn't put it there. In which case, shout at me. I think we've covered all the bases. Uh, so yeah, uh, I will be covering this on the channel, obviously. Um, I don't know to what extent, because I don't know, uh, with the scope being different to normal Total Wars, uh, how many campaigns we'll get out of it. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll, I'll need to, you know, get in there and, um, and start seeing what's what. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's that. So guys, thanks for tuning in. 
And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.